Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about Azure Firewall. My name is Sushan Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Firewall is a managed cloud-based network security service that protects your Azure virtual network resources. It's a fully stateful firewall as a service with built-in high availability and unrestricted cloud scalability. You can centrally create, enforce, and log application and network connectivity policies across subscriptions and virtual networks. Azure Firewall uses a static public IP address for your virtual network resources, allowing outside firewalls to identify traffic originating from your virtual network. The service is fully integrated with Azure Monitor for logging and analytics. Now let us look into Azure Firewall features. First, let's address the built-in high availability. High availability is built in, so no additional load balances are required and there is nothing you need to configure. Second feature is availability zones. Azure Firewall can be configured during deployment to span multiple availability zones for increased availability. Third feature is unrestricted cloud scalability. Azure Firewall can scale up as much as you need to accommodate changing network traffic flows so you don't need to budget for your peak traffic. Fourth feature is application FQD and filtering rules. So you can limit outbound HTTP and HTTPS traffic or Azure SQL traffic to a specified list of fully qualified domain names, including wildcards. Fifth feature is network traffic filtering rules. So you can centrally create, allow or deny network filtering rules by source and destination IP addresses, port and protocol. And Azure Firewall is fully stateful, so, so it can distinguish legitimate packets from different types of connections. And these rules are enforced and logged across multiple subscriptions and virtual networks. Another feature is threat intelligence. Threat intelligence based filtering can be enabled for your firewall to alert and deny traffic from or to known malicious IP addresses and domains. The IP addresses and domains are sourced from the Microsoft Threat Intelligence feed. And the last feature is multiple public IP addresses. So you can associate multiple public IP addresses up to 100 with your firewall. So how can you implement an Azure Firewall? Let's consider a simple example where we want to use Azure Firewall to route protect our workload server by controlling the network traffic. So the first step is to create the virtual infrastructure. In this case, we have one virtual network and three subnets. And the second step is to deploy the firewall. And the firewall is associated with the virtual network. In this case, it is a separate subnet with a public and private IP addresses. And the private IP address will be used in a new routing table. The third step is to create a default route. So create a routing table to direct network workload traffic to the firewall. And the route will be associated with the workload subnet. And all traffic from the subnet will be routed to the firewall's private IP address. And the last step is to configure an application rule. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about NSGs. So we'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care.